Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a uh, ramp slow mo in Final Cut Pro. I'm just going to be using this clip of Eric Tran at 306. So, first, you want to create a new project, name it, put it in the event you want to put it in, and change. Uh, well, you can either have it auto auto set your video properties or you can set it yourself. I like to set it myself in case it screws up. So first step, drag it into the into the timeline. If you don't have um, something there, you can import it from your camera. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna enlarge it here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to blade so you can press, just press B, and you want to um, press Blade and separate the clip where you want your ramp slow-mo to start. So I'm going to do it around here, and I want it to end right, about right there, I think. Usually about right when they land it. That'll be good. So you can go back to Select by pressing A, and... So yeah, there you have your clip. <clears throat> uh, right now it is in slow-mo, obviously. So you want to select the clip that you made by, by chopping and go to um, speed ramp right here and go from. You don't want to go to. You want to go from. <clears throat> and you can just play around with these. Um, <clears throat> you'll want to check uh, where, like how slow the lower the number, the slower it is. Right here, right at the start, he isn't really doing a trick. You usually want it the slowest when they're doing the trick. So I'm just going to make that faster because you don't really need it very slow. This part right here isn't too important either, but I'll make it a bit slower anyway. This part is probably the most important. And the last bit, when they're landing, well, I'm going to change change that. And I'm, I'm going to change the end source so that um, we have more of the trick slow instead of um, part of the trick being sped up. I'm just going to change this a bit more. So I think that'll be just about good. So this last bit here, 80%, that's pretty good. Some of you might want it a bit slower. It's still kind of part of the trick. Still going to land it. So here you have to wait for it to render. It'll render, say 100%. Done. And you can watch a clip. With this screen recorder, it looks kind of jittery, but um, I'll put it how it looks like in the video and you guys can see you can see it in full not jittery alright so yeah you can just play around um, play around with those numbers see how you like it um, yeah there's not much else to it that's basically what you do you play around with the numbers make it slower make it faster change where you want it to start this is how I do it. I've seen some people change the first set. Like, they don't even crop the clip. They just change it so that um, the start of the clip, there's only just, like, two different parts of slow-mo. Here, I'm just going to make this slow-mo just to add a little, a little extra, some effect, I guess. I'm just going to go with 50%. That should be good. And the other thing is you don't want to have preserved pitch on, or else it'll sound really choppy and echoey. And that, and when you take preserved pitch off, then it gives you that nice like, like you can tell that it's like ramped, it's like changing, and it's it sounds really sick. I think. <clears throat> so yeah, just now here it is. It's the final thing. Looks really jittery to you, but I'll, right now, but I'll put it in. Um, in normal.
Yeah, so you can just play around with this. Whatever. You should be good. Thanks for watching. And see you later. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, so the reason I just replayed that intro is because my buddy Seth, Sequence Media Productions on YouTube, made that and he is a really great guy. He made it for me. He can do real cool stuff with his app called Cinema 4D that he got. And do stuff like this. Yeah, so if you watch that on YouTube, it's a lot smoother and not as glitchy. But anyway, yeah, go check out his channel. I'll put a little link annotation right there you can click on if you're on your computer. And I'll put a link down below. So yeah, go check him out. He'll make you an intro or like a wallpaper or something. And who knows, maybe you'll help him start a business. So yeah, go check him out.